Welcome to video lecture on well hydraulics in groundwater engineering. The purpose of well studies. The principal objective of groundwater study is to determine how much groundwater can be safely withdrawn perennially from the aquifers. This determination involves transmissibility and storage coefficient of the aquifers the lateral extent of each aquifer and hydraulic nature of its boundaries, the tickle leakage if any, the effect of proposed developments on recharge and discharge condition. Most of the above informations can be obtained by conducting aquifer or pumping test. Unstudy radial flow interval. Please made the following assumptions for the derivation of aquifer characteristics for an unsteady radial flow in the well. The aquifer is confined, that is, it is bounded on the top and bottom by confining layers. Groundwater flow to the pumping well is under unsteady state condition. There is no source of recharge to the aquifer, that is, all the pumped water comes from the aquifer storage. The aquifer is compressible and the water is released instantaneously from the aquifer storage with the decline in head due to pumping. The well is pumped at constant rate. So consider a radial flow into the well uh, in a confined aquifer that permits the transformation of the polar coordinates of the form dou square h by dou r square plus 1 by r dou h by dou r equal to s by t dou h by dou t. The solution to this equation when referred to an aquifer of infinite thickness is given by small h equal to capital H minus q by 4 pi t integral e power minus u by u into du. So, a yeah, well pumping at a constant rate from an extensive confined aquifer produces an area of influence which expands with time. Water is taken from the storage within the aquifer as the piezometric head is reduced. This developed the non-equilibrium equation which is referred as the non-leaky rotation formula. They are u equal to r square s by 4 t into t and s equal to q by 4 pi t w of u where s is the drawdown in the observation well at radius r, q is the pumping rate t transmissibility coefficient, small t time after pumping started or the distance of observation well from the pumping well, s storage coefficient, u argument and w well function which is given as w of u equal to minus 0.577216 minus natural logarithm of u plus u minus u square by 2 into 2 factorial plus u by 3 into 3 factorial minus u by 2 power 4 by 4 into 5 factorial. So the image shows here a confined aquifer a well penetrated into a, two conf a confining layer and the full depth of the well is in the aquifer which yields the water. At the beginning the original level of the water level in the well is mentioned in the original potentiometric surface. As the pumping started, the water level in the well starts down, so which may be called as a drawdown, so which is given in the, the equation. The plot of u versus w of u on a standard log paper is called the type curve. The aquifer constant s and t can be determined by observing the drawdowns at several observation wells at a particular instant or the drawdown in a single well over a long period of time for a constant pumping rate from the main well by drawing time drawdown and distance drawdown curves or from the match point of the type curve. The pumping rate during the test is held constant by changing the setting of a value in the discharge line and t by changing the pump speed. Fairly long predictions of drawdown can be made from S and T by, method of, by the methods of these or modified these. So the curve shown here is a type curve for the well function, which is a graph, a semi-logarithmic graph 
between W of U and U. So the curve represents the relationship between W of U and U. So the match point, the superposition for the match point coordinates, the actual curve for the pumping test may be found out and then the match between the curve between W of U and U may be done. So the curve indicates U. So this is the curve for W of U versus U and this is the curve between S and R square by T. So this is the field curve obtained from the actual observation well. So by matching this we can get a match point. So from this we can get the value of U and S. Then the Jacob method of for the determination of the aquifer characteristics for the unsteady flow. The analysis presented here is of a pumping test in which a drawdown at a piezometric distance or from the abstraction well is monitored over time. This is also based upon the these analysis that S equal to Q by 4 pi T of W U which is equal to Q by 4 pi T minus 0.577 and a slog of U plus U minus U square by 2 into 2 factorial plus U Q by 3 into 3 factorial. From the definition of U, it can be seen that U decreases as the time of pumping increases as the distance of the piezometer from the well decreases. So, for piezometers close to the pumping well after sufficiently long pumping times, the terms beyond log u become negligible. Hence, for small values of u, the drawdown can be approximated by s equal to q by 4 pi t minus 0.5772 minus log of r square s by 4 t into t. So, changing the logarithm to the base term and rearranging s equal to 2.3 q by 4 pi t log of 2.25 t by r square s into t and this is the equation of straight line and by plotting it with the drawdown and the time you may get a straight line so the straight line of the jacob the jacobs method for finding the characteristics of an unsteady flow the value of u is valid from the value of 0 0.0 less than 0 0.01 and the t should be large and r is small. So the, the gradient of this straight line obtained from the Jacobs method is given as del s equal to 2.3 q by 4 by t so which is given which is shown in the graph itself. So the Jacob method of the solution of pumping test test data for a fully confined aquifer. So here the drawdown is plotted against the time for semi logarithm paper. So the gradient of this straight line will give you the value of del S. On Chow's method, the so Chow developed a method of solution of these equation by avoiding the curve matching technique and not being restricted to large values of T and small values of r as in the Jacobs method. So Chow introduced the function f of u equal to w of u into e power minus u by 2.3. The relationship between f of u and w of u and u is given in the figure and also given in the form of table. f of u is calculated from the time drawdown data on an observation well. In Chow's method, the time drawdown data on an observation well is plotted on a semi logarithm paper. An arbitrary point P is on the plotted curve and a tangent to the curve is drawn at P. The drawdown is suffix P and the slope of the tangent to the curve at P is del SP. That is, the drawdown difference per log cycle of time is read on the graph paper. The value of f, u, f of u is then calculated as f of u equal to s of x p by del of x of x p. So the curve is shown here the relationship between f of u and w of u and u by the chow. 
the values of u and w of u corresponding to f u are determined from the figure and then t and s are calculated from this equation as in the case of this method where u equal to r square s by 4 t into t and s equal to q by 4 pi t of w of u loss of time so from the equation s equal to 2.25 t into t by r square it is stated that t1 by r1 square equal to t2 by r2 square equal to t3 by r3 square equal to tn by rn square so that is the time of occurrence of zero drawdown or equal drawdown vary directly as the square of the distances of the observation wells from the discharge well and are independent of rate of pumping. It may also be noted from the equations that the value of transmissibility from Jacobs and the Dees method, so t equal to 2.3 q by 4 pi into del s and t equal to 2.3 q by 2 pi into del s, that is del s per log cycle of distance is twice del s per log cycle of time. Also, from that time drawdown curve, the interpretation of aquifer boundaries can be made. Recharge boundaries cause the plot of observed drawdowns to diverge below the least type curve and above the time drawdown straight line plot of Jacob method. If a change in slope, depending on whether it is a recharge or a barrier boundary, is indicated at a time t on the plot. The distance to the boundary from the discharging well is taken as nearly equal to x by 2, where x is given by r square by t naught equal to h square by t, where r is the distance of observation well from the discharging well, t naught the time for zero drawdown taken from the time drawdown curve, and t time at which the change of slope is indicated. So thank you for watching this video.